Hey guys, games for life here, and in today's video we're gonna build a cosmic bubble farm in Astroneer. Don't mind all of this behind me, this is just from the last thumbnail for the stellar object video. If you haven't seen it yet, then I suggest you do. But enough of that, now let's talk about the event items. So we've got the automation 1, 2, then we've got the cubic object, stellar object, and the cosmic bubble. We've already completed the first tier using these automation items. Then we've built tons of cubic objects. And then in the last video we built tons of stellar objects, so we'll complete the second and third tier using those. For the fourth tier we'll need cosmic bubbles, so that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Here we have all the packaged items we need to complete the second and third tiers. If you want to see me producing all of them, then you should check out the Project Cheer Delivery playlist. It's gonna come up on screen right now, so make sure to save it and watch it after finishing this video. Here's the farm from last time, we'll adapt it for today's video. But we'll do that in a second. But first, let me show you this new thing in the Exoter store. It's called the PAL bundle or the PAL bundle, if you like. And it's got both the pellet and the visor. So let's buy it. And then I'll also equip it. So this looks great. New clothes, new me, right? This just looks awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the Exo Request platform. So, as I've previously mentioned, we've already completed the first tier, and all we've got to do is the second, third, and fourth one. And we've got the items for these two tiers. So now all we need are cosmic bubbles, which look like these tiny cute bubbles depicting the whole Astroneer solar system. I'm so glad they put this into the game. It's really amazing. In order to produce one of these, we'll need scrap and astronium. So that means this part of the farm, which produces scrap, will remain the same. And on the other side, we only need astronium. So we'll have a platform right here with tons of astronium on it and the not arm feeding it onto this platform. We won't touch this side, which creates scrap, but we don't need this side anymore. So let me get this out of the way. Unlock the platform, just like that. We don't need this right now. I'll throw it to the side over there. And look at that, we have a platform right here. And I've previously mined some astronium before filming this video and we've got tons of it, probably more than we actually need. So for right now, I leave one canister out of this, and if we need it afterwards, I'll add it back to the platform. But for now, we've got 32 plus one, so 33, and another 32, which should be 65. That's probably more than we need for the fourth tier, because one of these bad boys grants us 75 recovery points, which is a lot. So let's get the platform over there, put it something like this. So the auto arm can reach into these spots oh, a bit closer. Now we need to get rid of all this glass. I'll turn this off first so it doesn't grab anything else. And then let's take the glass out of here. I'll put it into a medium canister. Actually, once one of these empties out, I'll just throw the glass into it. So we'll leave these over here for now. They don't bother us really that much. I'll connect the power to this, even if we don't need to, it just looks better. Now we need to take one Astronium, put it in the selector slot for the auto arm, so it only grabs Astronium. We can actually turn it on now, oh and there's one more glass right over here. Let's get a medium storage over on this side, maybe even two of them, why not. And now we can enable output on these, and the auto arm will grab the Astronium. Just like that, we'll put it over there. Great. Now we need to set this small printer to cosmic bubbles instead of stellar objects, just like that. Put it on repeat and turn it on. We've got some scrap over here from last time, but we also need to turn on this farm. So for that we need soil, and we've got tons of it over here. Let's grab one canister. I'll put it over here. And now all we need to do is set this on repeat and turn it on as well. And we've got one lost resin down there somehow. Let me see if I can grab it. I'll throw it over here. So the small printer creates these canisters and the auto arm grabs them and puts them into the shredder. The shredder then turns them into scrap which the auto arm grabs, puts it over here, you know the story. Now we'll need some storage space for all of these cosmic bubbles. So let me get a platform. We've got a platform right here. We need to create some more medium storages. I think six of these medium storages should be 48 spaces. I guess that's all we need really. 
for the last year. So the difference between this is 3500 divided by 75. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, that's 46.6, so 48 of them should be more than enough. So yeah, that's all we need. We've got resin over here, we'll create the medium storages, I'll move that over there, and I'll show you guys when we've got all 48 of them. It shouldn't really take that long, because the farm is pretty efficient. The scrap is produced a bit slow, but there's nothing to worry about. You can see we've got plenty of cosmic bubbles already. So yeah, I'll grab that platform and I'll show you guys when we've got all of them. So here we go, we've got 48 cosmic bubbles, filled up the whole platform. I've stopped this auto arm because we don't need any more cosmic bubbles. And all the scrap produced will fill up this medium canister. So we'll get some extra scrap out of this as well. And look at all those cosmic bubbles. Let's get this platform next to the others. So we've got the whole lineup together. And there we have it. So you can see the evolution here. These are the items we used for the first tier. Here we have all the cubic objects and over on this side, all the cubic objects for the second tier, then some stellar objects, which we'll need for the third tier. And here are all the cosmic bubbles we need to complete the fourth tier. So in the next video, you can expect me to finish this event. I'm gonna finish all the tiers it has, and I'm gonna collect all the rewards. Let's take a little look at the rewards for this. So we'll get a pallet called carbonated, an emote called shiver and a hat called seasonal allure. So next time we'll unpack all of those rewards and I'm gonna wear them all. Again, if you want to see that video and also the videos before this one, make sure to watch the entire project cheer delivery playlist and also save it for later. That's all for today, I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers Astroneers!